We first fell in love with our next guest as a powerful activist, rapper, and the author of The Coldest Winter Ever. Now the story of Winter Santiago continues in her new novel, Life After Death. Please welcome Sister Soja. Thank you so much. Happy to have you. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So to be here. Now, we haven't seen yes, you ma'am. for a while, so what have you been doing? I am always in the process of writing something. Uh, writing is what I love to do, and I love to travel the world so that I can uh, learn about different cultures and languages and people and continue to create the most creative characters ever written on the page. Mm. Yes, you have. Absolutely. Yes, and now your novel, The Coldest Winter Ever, has sold over one million copies. Why why did you wait two decades to release a sequel? Well, actually, at the end of The Coldest Winter Ever, everybody knows that Winter Santiago gets convicted uh, and sentenced to 15 years in prison. And I didn't want to come out with a sequel automatically just because Winter Santiago was so popular. Because Mm -hmm. I like to, uh, you know, touch the souls of the readers. And I wanted to make it clear that when somebody gets incarcerated and sentenced to 15 years, that's the absence of their presence. That's something that we, we, we feel very deeply. The same way everybody in real life feels that absence when somebody they love is incarcerated. So I thought that the readers should feel uh, the time gap between winter's freedom and winter's imprisonment so that Mm. everybody could understand that the drug lifestyle is a death style and we lose so much. Yes. Wow. Well, let me tell you, Sister Soldier, it's definitely my favorite book ever. I love The Coldest Winter Ever. It impacted my life. And I know, like myself and so many other fans, we have been waiting for a movie version of The Coldest Winter Ever. So will the book ever be made into a movie and go on the big screen? That would be my wish. It will. Um, I'm hoping that because there have been other films that were great films that took 15 years, 18 years Mm -hmm. to come to the screen, uh, that people will understand that The Coldest Winter Ever is taking a long time to come to the screen. But when it does, you know, I want it to have the excitement and the attendance and the attention and the focus of the whole world. Well, you will have all of my focus. I was obsessed with Winter Santiago. So I'm curious, like even in my own mind, I'm like, what actors would you ever have in mind to play the role of Winter? Like that's going to be major. Who do you think can do that? For 20 years, I've always said the same thing. So 20 years ago, if you asked me this question, I would say the same thing, that the role of Winter Santiago and the role of Midnight would be played by newcomers. But the role of Ricky Santiago, Winter's father, and Lana Santiago, Winter's mother, would be played by A-listers. So Mm -hmm. I think that it's going to pan out that exact way. Wow. I'm sure it is. What actor wouldn't want to dive into this? Um, now, the sequel, Life After Death, is finally available. Where does Winter's story pick up? It picks up the moment that she is released from prison. She has served 15 full years. She couldn't get off on good behavior because she was serving a mandatory minimum, which is something that was really big Uh, in the African-American and Latino community where people were getting sentenced and not able to even negotiate the amount Mm -hmm. of time or do well behind bars and get lesser time because they they did well. The mandatory minimum uh, is exactly what it sounds like. It means that you have to serve every single day of the amount of years that you're sentenced to. Wow. Well, actress Nia Long narrates the audio uh, book version of Life After Death, and she's just a great actress. Why did you choose Nia for Winter's voice? 
I choose I chose Nia because uh, everyone loves her. <laughs> everyone loves her, and every love everyone loves Winter Santiago. Plus, Winter Santiago is not that easy to satisfy. And if I were to ask Winter, who would you allow to uh, perform your voice of your new novel? Uh, she would be very choosy. And, but I think that she would embrace me along because everybody loves me. That's Absolutely. true. Absolutely. Well, yes. Sister Soldier, we are so excited and congratulations on all this success as well. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with us. Her new book, thank Life you. After Death. Yes, thank you. Life After Death is available now wherever books are sold.